as I was saying, I'm U.S. Marshal Maria Ship, Mr. Milbarge. And you're under arrest. Uh, Marshal Ship, returning to the scene of the crime, huh? If it isn't the one who got away. Still don't know what a guy with your skills is doing in this town. Oh, it's your best theory. Either you're a hardened criminal working with the team for your own purposes, or you're an undercover government agent curious about the same crime rate drop I am. Bet you I figure you out by the time we finish our coffee, Mr. Milbarge. Well, actually, it's Elliot. Elliot's texting the marshal. Really? She seems so normal. Hmm? All right, I'll give you guys 10 seconds to have fun with this. You call 911 when you want some booty? Oh, she make you call her officer? Yeah. Who's the copper? Who's the bottom? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got another one. It's 10. Go, where, so go to the locations of the servers. Go. Listen, I know that this is not how you wanted to spend the weekend. Trust me, me neither. I'm trying to apologize for dragging me into this. Don't. These people need help. You're helping them. That's what I like best about you. Hey, Elliot is Harry. Buck up, soldier. You afraid of me? <laughs> Very much so. <sighs> no. What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? I'm afraid there's no such thing as a fair fight anymore. These guys running the system, they're all crooked now. They're supposed to be looking out for people. But instead, they're using the system to protect themselves. Makes you want to hide under the covers and hope it goes away. Yeah, well, I can't hide. Done some things I can't take back. You think you don't deserve to be happy. Not as long as there are bad things happening to good people and you can't stop all of it. You can't live like that, Elliot. Elliot, if you needed me to make this arrest and testify to put these guys away. No, that's not. Probably wouldn't mention my name or Parker's for that matter on the official report. Who do you work for, Elliot? You know what? I don't care. You stayed and fought for them and kept fighting no matter how tough it got. And that makes you good, no matter how bad you think you are. And that's good enough for me. Most of these are made out to the wrong address. All the mail's forwarded here from like two dozen addresses across the country, so. Different aliases, too? D Tenant, Tom Baker. Miss Rivers Song. That's all Hardison. Alice White. That's Parker. Teddy Bear. Oh. Teddy Don't Bear. Stop. Don't. Teddy Bear. Both of you. Seriously, with the teddy bear. I knew it would make you grumpy. You're very cute when you're grumpy. <clears throat> Got a name for the guy in the car accident? Uh, the accused assailant didn't have any identification on him, and he's been refusing to talk to the police. But he's awake and talking, right? Awake, yes, talking, no. They're here to see the prisoner. I just need you to fill this out. Hey. Thank you for this. So you're not going to tell me why you want to talk to him? It's not. It was, it's, it's the thing that we're doing for work. I just have to ask him some things. Always some mysterious thing. One of these days, I'm going to get you to tell me who you work for. 
See you later, teddy bear. Federal codes for the power grid, back doors into every substation and plant's operating software. Thank you. If you were a Fed, you'd already have these. Yeah. Black Ops, NSA, all the things I assumed you were, you'd get them easier than I could. So, you want to tell me why I should hand you something that could end my career? Come here. explosion a few months ago that was us you didn't blow up an oil rig no. we tried to stop it but it's big it's bigger than we thought you've carefully avoided saying who you work for we work outside the law you're criminals no and you want me to hand you this it's not we used to be criminals, right? We, we helped people. We worked for the government off the books, but FBI, NSA, this guy named McSweden. I'm sorry, Agent Todd McSweden, the head of the FBI Counterterrorism Division? Why don't you just say you know Deputy Director Taggart? I'm not lying to you. We are the good guys. I absolutely believe you. I know you, I know you want to help people. I've seen you risk your life to help people. And I think I may be in love with you. I know how you feel. Why did I ever really open up to anyone? Stop. I'm a U.S. Marshal. It, it's what I've always wanted to be, my life's work. And I'm not worth the risk of. The bitch of it is, I think you are. You're a good man. But you're still a criminal. And I won't cross that line. 